Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Daniela. Today I am here to give you my empties for the month of December. Um, so yeah, I have collected all my empties in my bucket and I will go through them and tell you if I will repurchase or not uh, and what I think about them. Um, I normally start with shower items and I can't see any shower items to be honest. Um, it's not that much uh, in here this time around, but it doesn't matter. At least I have gotten some items out. So first off, I will actually start with this MAC Prep and Prime uh, Fix Plus. Um, this has been like um, that everyone should use. Uh, I don't like it, um, to be honest. So I'm actually really, really happy that it's gone. Um, I do have this one but in the matte version because since I'm quite oily in, in my face uh, I need more mattifying uh, because I use up I use a lot of powder to be honest um, so yeah I didn't like this um, this will be going into my back to Mac uh, bag so when next time I go to US I can back to Mac them uh, we have this Essence Lash Princess this is also like a staple that you should have in your collection if you are doing makeup. Um, I, think it, I think it was really good. Uh, it's very affordable, the price. I have uh, different um, versions of this. This is the green one. This is a false uh, lash effect. Uh, and I have the one that is blue, I think, and the one that is red. Um, so, does it say this is for Iris for volume? Yeah, dramatic volume. Um, I liked it, but it started to... S Did it start to smell? That's why I started to... I changed it out. Can I even open this? I can't even open it. It's stuck. I normally, like, clean my... Yeah, it's broken. Uh, I normally... Seriously? No? Seriously, it's broken. I normally clean off my mascara wands and then um, when I go to US I send it to a wildlife center to so they can use it for their animals but yeah this actually broke off so yeah <clears throat> like that. Um, will I repurchase this? I don't know because I have a lot of the other versions of this so I will try and use them first before I like start with this or buy another of these I should say uh, something that I thought was a uh, hand cream but uh, actually was a face cream was this Naobe um, it's a brand from Spain this 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 is the Hydra Plus cream and when I read it like when I got it I used to read um, Aceite de granada, aguacate, oliva combinado de extractos ecológicos de salvia y manzanilla. And so it's um, great, no, pomegranate um, oil, um, uh, avocado and, and olive combined with extracts of salvia and what's it, manzanilla. I don't know what's manzanilla in, in English, but when I read on the back side, it says, well, the first thing, it says crema hidratante profunda. So I was like, oh yeah, it's a hydrating cream. I thought for your hands, but then in English, it says deep mo moisturizing face cream. So I have actually started using this as a hand cream, but uh, yeah. But uh, this year when I started using it, it was up to here. So I used it up, uh, so I'm happy about that. It uh, did smell really good. Uh, don't know if I will repurchase. Uh, this brand is kind of not expensive expensive, but not like I will uh, splurge my money on it. Uh, also because I have so many uh, face moisturizers that I have to use up before I can even buy another one. So yeah, perhaps if it's on like sale and I don't have any other uh, moisturizers, then yeah. And uh, then we have um, 
two from the same brand. This is from Skin & Co Roma. Looks like this. It's the Face Gamache and Whipped Cleansing Cream. 20 milliliters, both of them. I got this in my glossy box. Um, um, no. Um, no. <laughs> I'm like, no. Um, it was good, but it's not like, oh, wow. That's it. No. So one was a... Um, the face like micro exfoliating it's this one mm, no it didn't feel like it was exfoliating anything so no. and this one the whipped cleansing cream this smell good uh, so I think this brand is kind of expensive if I'm not mistaken so it was 20 milliliters but I think on the pamphlet we got from glossy box it said like if you by the full size, which was 50, I think. It was a price that I'm not, I'm not willing to pay for uh, something that I don't feel doing anything. It was nice, but not nice that I will like buy it. Um, toothbrush. Um, I bought 10 pack of toothbrush with this bamboo toothbrushes from actually my students uh, every year they when they come to the second grade of um, high school they have to do like um, own, their own company so they like okay I'm gonna do about this or I'm gonna do about that so this company I uh, did bamboo toothbrushes so I bought 10 of them so yeah it's just one of those um, I don't think I can buy them, but I have bought other uh, bamboo toothbrushes from other brands, so that's good. Uh, one more of my nail color remover from H&M, 150 milliliters staple. Uh, this is the one I always use. In a normal year, when it's not pandemic and I do my nails a lot, I use up like six of these. I think in 2021, I have only used up like three four so yeah uh, but this is the one I always buy I will always repurchase if they have it at H&M uh, something I got from Basador um, here in Scandinavia we have this brand called Basador where you like apply for testing out things and I got to test out this Lumine Nordic Hydra it's a night overnight cream yeah it's 50 milliliters. I really like this one actually. Um, it smells also good. I think everything that I have tried from Lumine smell has always smelled really good. Um, so yeah, but in a way I don't know why I should use uh, cream in the night because like this is how I do it. In the morning I clean my face with well toner and then I apply my face cream. So what I did was it, like I showered, cleaned my face with my exfoliants and everything and toner and blah 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 and then I put this on and then some hours later I cleaned my face again and put on another cream. So I'm like, I don't know if that helps, I'm not an expert so um, I don't know, but um, it smelled good, it felt good to my face so it's okay but it's not that I'm going, going, go, going to go out and buy a night cream just yet. I'm not that old. I do have too many other moisturizers, as I said, to, to even consider going out and buying more creams. So, yeah. Um, what else? What else? Tissue paper. Uh, these are 10 packs of uh, tissues. You need them sometimes. Um, let's see. I have a perfume. Well, I have two perfumes. But this perfume I actually got from a Glossy Box. It's the Alicia, Alisa Ashley Vanilla. It's a 50 milliliter. Um, no. I didn't like it that much, to be honest. I did get another one. I think it was from the same brand, but it was another scent. I like that better. Um, I think this 
was something that was popular when I was uh, younger, like in the 90s. Um, and then I think I actually liked that scent better because I didn't like this one. Uh, they, I know they have a lot of different scents, scents uh, but yeah, not this one, sorry. Uh, and also I do have too many perfumes to also buy any perfumes until they are gone. Uh, the other perfume I also have is actually one of my favorites. It's the Yuzi Couture. This is the Yuzi Couture Viva La Yuzi Rose. Uh, this is 50 milliliters. It's not the first bottle I have used up of this. And do I have one more of this? No. Nope. I only have two more of Yuzi Couture. Then I have another bunch of other perfumes. Um, so yeah, yeah, like it a lot. If you gonna see my year-long empties, you will see there has been a lot of music tours uh, during this year of 2021. Um, I like them a lot, as I say. I do have also, I think I told you this before, if you see my videos before, that behind me here, that's my closet, in one of the on one of the shelves, I only have all my empty Yuzi Couture perfumes, uh, perfume bottles, I should say. So that whole whole area is full of Yuzi Coutures. So I like Yuzi Couture perfumes. And I do not buy them full price, never. I always try to find a, like a bargain or someone selling them cheaper uh, because the price of Yuzi Couture perfumes are well, the price of perfumes in general is ridiculous, so yeah, that's that. Uh, okay, I don't have any more perfumes, do I? Well, kind of a, a perfume, but it's not perfume for me, but it's, this was for my bed. It's called Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. This works. 5 milliliters. We got this in a glossy box in November, I think it was has to be November because I, I, I didn't I missed it one in December when I went to Spain. This is a very strong lavender scent. If you don't like lavender, this is not for you. Um smells good. <laughs> um I did spray it on my pillow. I did one or once or twice get a little bit of headache because it was so strong and I had it applied a little bit too much. Um so you should go really like easy handed on this one uh, otherwise you will end up with the migraine um what does it say oh yeah <laughs> spray on the pillow before bedtime contains vetiverol don't know what that is may produce an allergic reaction no shit sherlock um yeah it's made in czech republic for this work in london uh, but yeah, it, it they re did really work, but uh, be careful not to spray it way too much. Uh, will I repurchase? Um, don't think so. I kind of fall asleep anyways without problem, so that's good. Um, okay, what do I have? I should take something makeup-y. Um, I took this Luna by Luna brow gel with me to Spain. This is just a clear brow gel. Um, doesn't look that clear nowadays because I use a brown pencil. Um, when I was going to use it on New Year's Eve, I was like, nothing is coming out. It's super dry. So I was like, okay, um, that's that. Um, like, you can't even see how much it's in here. Uh, so I was like, okay. So it's, it's gone. Will I buy more uh, brow gel? I think I have actually one or twice. One or twice, one or one or two, I should say, um, more in my stash, so I will use the, uh, that. Will I specifically buy Luna by Luna? Uh, no. Did I like it? Mm -hmm. I was like, I applied it, and it was it was just a normal clear gel, so wasn't that big of a deal. Um, I went to Stockholm with my students and. Well, some of my co-workers also. Um, and I went into Lush to buy some more shampoo and conditioner. And I also got to try this uh, Glory. Uh, it's for curly hair, like a hair mask. Um, so I got this little pot. Um, 
I would love to buy the big tub of this because it did do wonders for my hair. You never see it down because, well kind of not see it down because uh, my hair is curly but not beautiful curls, just big curls and then gets ploofy and yeah, looks like a dog. Uh, so yeah, that's why. Uh, but that did actually help, help my curls to be more bouncy, if you understand what I mean. So yeah, uh, what else? Uh, I used to, well I broke the last of the red clips to my hair, so I, I, I was, I don't think, I, I don't know where I was, I think I was in school. And all of a sudden I feel something like falling down my, my neck and it was one of the legs. Uh, so yeah. Uh, now I've gone over to the white ones, then I will proceed to my black ones. I have way too many of these that I have to start using them up. Well, I do use them up. Um, I don't know what this is called. To clean in, in between my teeth. This is made of um, charcoal and bamboo, I think it was. Uh, but yeah, it's time to replace it. I can't be using the same thing the whole time. Um, I have three strip seals, don't know, yeah, wait, it's in German, honig and, and citron. Yeah, so uh, lemon and honey um, strip seals, three of them. Um, then we have actually some nail polishes before I take the last items that are actually candles. Um, ooh, let's do that. Uh, I have three. Uh, first of all, we have this Sesh Vit Dry Fast Top Coat. I know I still have a little bit in here. I don't know if you can see it. I can do like this. Uh, I have a little bit of it still, but like every time it was like, it's goopy. It doesn't come out and I'm like, no, sorry. Proceed to the next top coat in your collection, Daniel. Uh, then we have this. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite grey ones. It's from Baudot. I uh, don't know where it's from. I think it's from Mexico. Because I got it in Mexico. Um, when this year, 2021, started, it was to here. Well, yeah, it was to here. And now somewhere under the small print there. And I can't get anything else out. I don't know how many times I have used a thinner to kind of relived this one uh, and yeah it's done as, as you can see here on the bottle uh, it has started to like show through because I have used so many, much thinner in it but last time when I was going to apply it was it was bad so I was like okay you're done I've had you so much a long time then we have now oh, this has been on the side this is the OPI one of the small minis this is Say Hello Kitty. I have done like a abbrevi abbreviation, you call it, um, from this. I do actually have this in a big bottle, so yeah. And this also the same as with the Bardot one. I have used thinner so many times that yeah, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, I do know that I have still a little bit in here, but it doesn't apply. Uh, it doesn't come out from the bottle anymore. But I do have it, as I said, in a big bottle, so that's that's good. Okay, now we have the last items, and it's my candles. Um, first of all, normal, like, non-scented tea lights. Yeah, there's no, like, big fuss about that. Uh, then we have, from When Slow Tie, we have the Island Breeze. Came in this package. And it looks like this. It smells like a toothpaste-y. Yeah, toothpaste. So yeah, this comes a little bit more sturdier um, um, plastic one. So I'm gonna to repurpose it and like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean out all my uh, candles because my students uh, are doing candles and they always need like scraps of candles to make candles um, so yeah and then I have the last 
of the uh, Wenslow Tide, the Black Cherry Merlot. It's not the first of uh, like Black Cherry Merlot. I think this is my third or fourth. Uh, I do have this is one more, the one apple for the teacher, uh, which smells like apples. Uh, left, and that's that's all I have. Uh, but this is one of my OGs, like the one that I really like. So it's black cherry mellow, the chocolate, strawberry and um, sea salt orchid are the three of the, the candles that I normally go for because I love them so much. Uh, but yeah, now this looks like just a hot mess in here with, uh, I think it's on top. Um, Himalayan sea salt so I do have like salt in the bottom here and then yeah just a little bit of wax still in here uh, so yeah that was everything uh, I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase because uh, it's quite expensive first of all the candles and then second of all I have to pay extra tax when they come here to Sweden um, so yeah it kind of sucks, so I don't think I will repurchase any more candles on from Mary actually in a in a while. And actually, I couldn't even buy from her last time because uh, the U.S. post office didn't want to uh, send uh, overseas, they didn't want to send to Sweden, they didn't want to send to Australia, and I don't know where. So I was like, okay, uh, even though I really wanted to help out and buy like. Uh, help out with uh, fundings for the beach uh, uh, museum um, but yeah so I think that was that was one of the last uh, candles I will have from Mary uh, and I will see if I can get hold of it in the future I don't know so that was everything I feel like it's getting darker again it's kind of hard to film here in Sweden because uh, yeah, it gets dark so early and the day it was totally grey in the morning so I started to wait and then the sun, sun came out and then now it's starting to be grey again. Okay, that's it. Uh, I hope you have a nice uh, weekend, nice week and next wo video will probably be my uh, whole year of empties. So all the empties I have done for 2021 I will round everything up and see how much I have used of everything so I will go through like all my perfumes and all my shampoos and all that kind of stuff and I think I hope that will be my next video and then yeah I hope I see you then or in, or in another one video have a nice day bye